Alexis joins us again to inform about a sustainable urban transport study of Georgetown, facilitated by the Public Infrastructure Ministry and Brazilian company Logit. The study carried out between October 2016 and November this year was aimed at providing specific project recommendations and policy options to allocate road space more efficiently among users and increase the use of cleaner and more sustainable transportation modes. It included the urban public transportation improvement sector, the traffic improvement program, gender study, institutional strengthening, and a parking managing plan. According to Minister of Public Infrastructure David Patterson, data shows that some 9,000 new vehicles take to the roads each year. He noted that the majority of them traverse Georgetown, but its road network system has not been improved significantly. Now the study coupled with this report shows that 65 to 70 percent of all traffic heads to the city of Georgetown, coming from the East Bank and as well as the East Coast. So you can well imagine the strain that we add annually to Georgetown. The recommendations coming out of the study now falls under the purview of the mayor and the city council. Taking this into account, Minister Patterson says the next move is to discuss the proposals. At the end of this stakeholder meeting, a final report will be, which will incorporate your um, comments, and the final report will be presented um, to the ministry and to the municipality and the public at home, as a whole. Alexis Rodney for InfoHub.